the Shoalwater Bay training area in Queensland, Australia. A harsh environment of dust and heat with a land area three times the size of Singapore. It was under these challenging conditions that the Singapore Armed Forces pushed the limits of the concepts, technology and people that form its third generation fighting force. This is Exercise Wallaby 2006. Held from 20th November to 9th December, it was the SAF's biggest and most extensive airland integrated exercise to date. The SAF was able to validate the effectiveness of some of its third generation operating concepts on a large scale. This involved testing integrated knowledge command and control systems, network connectivity, precision fires, and unmanned platforms in a vast operational environment. With some 4,000 exercise troops comprising NS men, NSFs, and SAF regulars, commanded and controlled by a networked integrated command post. We are trying to make sure that all the firepower and the sensors that we have actually serve the unit on the ground to tip the balance at uh, critical points in the battle. Exercise Wallaby 2006 was a realization of ideas and concepts first explored at the SAF Center for Military Experimentation, or SCME. Here, all kinds of battle scenarios can be realistically created in a virtual world. This means new concepts can be tested virtually first without the need to involve large numbers of live troops, thus saving on operational costs. The SCME also works closely with the services to conduct virtual experiments on new platforms before actual procurement. This ensures maximum compatibility and effectiveness when the new platforms are integrated into our forces. The SCME is part of the Future Systems Directorate that the Defence Ministry set up a few years ago. Its role is to experiment and develop superior operating concepts through technology for the SAF to meet new security demands in the most cost-effective manner. One of the SAF's challenges is to grow a spectrum of operational capabilities to meet evolving security needs in the region while maintaining its core mission to defend Singapore's sovereignty and territorial integrity. The SAF has been an active participant in multilateral efforts to protect and safeguard the vital sea lines of communications in the region from maritime threats. In the area of homeland defence, its island defence headquarters and chemical, biological, radiological and explosives units work closely together with the home team and other agencies to deal with a variety of non-conventional threats. In the face of natural disasters last year, an SAF medical team responded within 24 hours and worked closely with the Indonesian authorities to contribute medical support to the earthquake relief efforts in Yogyakarta. An RSAF Chinook detachment also cooperated with the Royal Thai Air Force to aid in the flood relief operations in northern Thailand. The SAF must ensure that it maintains its operational readiness today while driving its transformation initiatives to prepare for the uncertainties of the future. In order to transform the SAF, one of the strategy is to embed experimentation into operational exercises and training, but with a balance. This method of uh, training and experimentation would allow the users to be operationally ready as well as to break new grounds for them to try new technologies that may come online in the near future. It also allows experimenters to know what works and what doesn't. The spiral approach of constantly testing and developing new versions of a system ensures that the SAF always gets the most current and relevant systems for the money it spends.